Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Future Podcast. Hey guys, yeah. this is not Tim. Yeah, this is not Tim. <laughs> I've got tall shoes to fill to be Tim. You do, you do. <laughs> hey, uh, my name's Luke and uh, this is Lockie. Hey guys. Uh, so good to be with you, bro, in yeah. Brisbane. Uh, Tim is still in Japan. Yes. Uh, living the dream, traveling, <laughs> uh, sun baking, just uh, enjoying the summer. Yeah. We are here in Brisbane. Yeah. So good to be finally here in brisbane yeah it's good first potty in brisbane man yeah exciting so you've been here for about three weeks now yeah yeah how's yeah. it feel to be in the promised land dude it's so <laughs> good it's so good it feels like coming home but like you know someone's renovated the house and everything's moved around i'm trying to like work out you know my own country but it's so good to be here and um yeah just excited about what's gonna what's gonna do um but yeah kids are in school love and life yeah. Um, good things happening. But who are you? What's um like Lockie? I'm Lockie. married. Yeah. Um, what's your story, man? Yeah, married. Um been in church all my life, grew up. Uh yep. come from Toomba, like yourself. Toomba T- repping. Another T bar. Another T bar repping. <laughs> yeah. And uh yeah, moved to Brisbane about seven, eight years ago. Met my beautiful wife Larita and uh just been married now five years and uh, excited to be part of future church. It'd yeah. be awesome. It's amazing, yeah. man. Well, we just huge honor to have you guys as part of our team to um, take this church to to launch. Yeah. And I guess like right now, the podcast is in kind of like a phase two. We mm. spent the first 12 episodes talking about um, some foundational things yeah. um, for the future of our church uh, and really some of the book content, which we're going to get into later. But um, now we are really on this road to launch. Yeah, it's exciting. Basically, like getting ready to launch this church. We got a great team. Yeah. Um, things are happening with venue. We're in a venue right now, actually. Yeah. 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 And this space is actually a pretty cool space. It's um, yeah. it's actually a friend's church. Um, it's called the House. It's in downtown Brisbane, in Brisbane East. Yeah. Uh, it's super cool venue. It's white. Yeah. I love this. Everything's white. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm in heaven or yeah. um, somewhere, somewhere in between one of the levels of heaven. <laughs> it's definitely pretty awesome. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, loving Brisbane, man. Yeah. It's great to have you here. And uh, so let's, tr- let's talk about Brisbane. Yeah. Um, you're here now. What have you found being on the ground? Um, you said everything is different. The city has changed a lot, I bet, since yeah. you were here last time. It has. And the city's going through a lot of change too. Like it's, you can see that mm. definitely as you walk around the city, as you drive around the city, which I've been doing a lot of driving, Yeah. Um, you definitely notice like there's buildings being built everywhere, yeah. there's infrastructure going in. So what's, what's that all about? Yeah. I mean, the city is, it's like it's growing up. It's, it's entering phase two. Like, you know, we're entering season two on the podcast right now. Yeah. Uh, the city is just, um, it's booming everywhere you look. Uh, I think it's like a lead up to the Olympics, really. In right. 2032. We've got a lot of new infrastructure in the pipeline. Are you planning on entering the Olympics? 2032? Um, yeah, I think about high jump. If you could. <laughs> Timmy, if you're out there, Timmy, high Timmy jump. Timmy would be great at I mean, high jump. Yeah. yeah, throw your hat yeah. in the ring. I could probably do like, you know, coffee tasting or <laughs> right. they introduce that or That's true. something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe I should brush up on my tennis a little. I said that to my son, he's nine years old and he'll be, I guess, 18. Is that right? Eight, yeah. Something, something like around that. There. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, Olympics. Yeah. He was like, me, what sport should I choose? <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, it's exciting. The city's buzzing. The city's it's, growing. It's exciting when you have something like the Olympics coming to a city because it gets you yeah. to think long term. Right. Like, what are we building long term in the city? And it gets you thinking forward. And what, what are we going to do? And you think about your life in like 10 years' time. It's about 10 years away now. And you go, wow, where are we going to be in 10 years? What will church look like in 10 years? It's super exciting. It's so exciting. And, to think about. and just recently, we had the ABS data come out, yep. which was, you know, Every uh, four years or so, uh, they do a big survey across the country. So what is ABS? Uh, Australian Bureau of Statistics. And then they do a census every couple of years. Yep. And so that was the latest results that came out. Some really interesting insights there. I guess, big picture, Australia's changing. Right. Like, church is changing. And our country is changing as well. So um, big demographic shifts. Lots of younger generation coming up, which is exciting. Yeah. Uh, I think millennials now take up the same share as baby boomers. Right in our demographic and our population, so that's exciting. Yep. Uh, Australia is a very diverse, multicultural nation. We know that we and do, yeah, yeah, and that's that's awesome. So that's not going away. Anywhere. What was it like? More than thirty percent of people speak a different language at home now. Yeah, yeah, the rise of different languages is really cool. Um, actually, about two thirds of our population growth comes from net overseas migration. 
Right. And that was before COVID. So now it's just going to ramp up and we're just going to become a more diverse multicultural nation which is awesome i love i love that it's so cool that's it's the kingdom it's it's cool for the kingdom it's cool yeah. for food it's yes. cool for so many things so, so much good yeah. food love in yes Brisbane. love that <laughs> um good coffee yeah. good good food but other yeah. things like uh you know return to the regions um people moving back out of the country as well as the city and also the return to local people want to shop local um and be in local communities i think really that came out of a heart of people uh, being separated from communities during the pandemic and people want to come back together. Right. And that's happening at a local level. And so that's really exciting for the church, right? Because it's all about engaging our local community. How can we engage our local community at a local level? Absolutely. And so some of this new data coming out, it's really interesting because as people as, as church, we can look at that and go, where are people, you know, how, how are we living and operating? You know, hybrid works, people working from home now. They go into yep. the local cafe more. Yep. How can we engage community yep. uh, for the building churches and planting churches in the city? It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. like we were doing a small group the other day and yeah. there was a guy just sitting there, right? And you said, yeah. hi, is this your local? Yeah. And I hadn't really heard that terminology before. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, this is my local. Yeah. Meaning like this is the place that I always come. This is kind of my yeah my spot he literally said i'm yeah. part of the furniture yeah and that's how people think of their local cafes or their local shop um or now their local church right right how can we be part of that which and is pretty awesome yeah it, it makes you think differently about um building a church when we think about how can we build a church maybe not necessarily for even australia or even brisbane but how can we build a church for this particular area which has has a unique vibe and feel and yeah. a group of people, yeah. how can we actually build a church that's going to work in that area? And so one of the areas you've been looking at uh, potentially for a, a, a church is West End. Yeah. So uh, what, what have you found driving through West End so far and, and checking that out? Dude, like I'm learning about the city, like learning about different suburbs, what's which is what the vibe is in different places. And there's so many unique cultures. Mm. Um, but to me, like the West End really just sings in my heart because I don't know, I just feel like a resonance with like, this is my, this is where I want to be. Yeah. This is the kind of place that's, it's moving from industrial into this modern, yeah. um, residential, residential, flash, everything. <laughs> it's a lot of high rises. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of, a lot of apartments, like brand new apartments. So it's a lot of, I guess, some um, single couples, young families, yep. Um, but it's very creative and artistic, yeah. Which I which I really like. The, I think the government is like e earmarking this area for a lot of creative industry. Yeah, a big cultural hub. A cultural hub. So mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of breweries there. Yeah. Um, coffee. Coffee there. Dining. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of a food. Lot of, and a lot of the focus on sustainability as well. Right. Um, yeah. The arts, culture. Yes. Um, they just renovated the ballet theater there because the ballet is moving it. Like, yeah, there's I saw so that. much happening in West End. It's a huge new public school um, being built there. Yeah, um, that was out of demand of the other school down the road, which right. is overflowing. Um, yeah. so, so more families are moving into the catchment. Right, 2,000 uh, kids yeah. are going to be in that school. Yeah, it's huge. Which really does tell you there's a lot of young families in yeah. that area. Um, but one of the really cool things that, that I feel I, I, I'm attracted to as, just as a pioneer is there's not many churches there. Yeah. Yeah, there's... Um, you know, as part of the Australian Christian churches, I think we, I think that I know of, we have one church maybe there. Um, and uh, they're, they're reaching a certain demographic of people, which is pretty cool. And we want to work with those guys. Um, but really not many churches have been there. And there's some, there is really some logistical challenges mm. to being in that area mm. of why it makes it a little bit harder, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. You've got challenges like, parking and right. um, there's congestion sometimes um i think on sundays everyone's out and about in west end it's one of those suburbs right. that people are not sleeping in on sundays people are out it's a destination they're walking around yeah. visiting shops and restaurants and in the park so a great place to be uh put a church on a sunday absolutely people can just walk in yeah and, hey come join that's the <laughs> kind of place we want to build a church is the place that people naturally want to be and let's put a church right in the center of that, you know. Um, and yeah. I know that some churches do really well in the suburbs. Um, I totally get that. But I come from a context where um, really inner city, surrounded by people, yeah. 
and and a, and an easy place for people to come into where they already are there. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting. We'd we'd like to reach um, young people who are yet you know have that little creative bent or have they have some, you know that they, they do are thinking future are thinking forwards. Um, young families, uh, it, it's just it's just a, a so so much opportunity there, and it's what you know what we call in business like blue water like people. It's not many people yeah. reaching into that area, yeah, and that's where we'd love to be. So. Exciting. Pretty excited about West End. Um, finding a venue, yeah, challenge, <laughs> but um, yeah. possible. You think? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Again, the suburbs changing, so um, facilities are, are, are being you know old old commercial spaces are being transformed. So um, you've got like old mechanics turning into now commercial spaces or residential. So I think with that change, there's going to be venues opening up. Yep. And um, we've seen a couple already. We've been looking at a couple already. Yeah, so we have. Yeah. Got a couple opportunities there, so it's exciting. Uh, so we'll keep you guys up to date. Definitely, on what's happening there? Kind of the vibe is like y- your warehouse, which also has kind of um, offices, offices upstairs, uh, showrooms, yeah. different things like that, plus a big warehouse space that can easily be turned into you know studios that we're building, yeah, plus church, and then you know your office areas for for kids and for offices and podcast studios and. All of that kind of stuff. So that's a great thing thinking yeah. about church buildings for any yeah. other pastors listening. Is you know we in the ABS data it talked about hybrid work, people working from home, people working at the office. Right. They're changing office layouts now in the CBD. I was just in the CBD the other day at one of the big Eagle Street buildings, and the whole office is totally changed. It's like you know hot spotting and communal areas where people gather, yeah. and they're clearing out space to make room for people to even have events. Wow! And so I think it's the same with church. Is hybrid. Uh, buildings which can be used yes. for one thing on a weekday and another on Sunday and yeah and then you still need your offices and things like that um, so that's really exciting because they're actually fitting out a lot of these buildings in West End for that purpose absolutely so, yeah and I think one of the things coming into this church plant that I was thinking about a lot is um, just how can we build it f- sustainably financially mm. and one of the biggest burdens churches have is venue yeah, um, and it sits empty. Many stuff. It's, you know, it, yeah. Exactly. So I was thinking, how can we kind of like rethink, it, reimagine that, mm. and from the ground up, you know, as we're starting a new church and and start um, with the end in mind. So we are building studios, uh, which we'll do all of our digital side through, as well as you know renting that and working with other companies and stuff who will use actually our venues, um, and then be able to give that to the church to use on the weekend yeah. um, or different times of the day. So Harley just went past. <laughs> um, this street has a lot of uh, great mechanics and does, you know, yeah. classic cars all up and down the road. Here. It's pretty cool. Pretty good eat. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's just a great way to think about that. Um, so the, the business can almost essentially give the venue to the church yeah, um, as well as help with, you know, some of our staffing and, in other um, things, so it's it's the same mission, um, but we get to really help each other. So um, that means that the church plant can actually really focus on ministry and and have a little less burden yeah. um, while we're planning. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. So um, let's just talk a bit a little bit about like what's like a little update. What's happening with the church plant? Yeah, on this road to launch. Where are we up to right now? Um, what's next? And I really want to talk about how you guys can get involved in just, um, yeah, helping this church plant start. Yeah, join the team. Well, what is next, Luke? Um, you're, wh- you're here, you've got <laughs> venues uh, that we're yeah. looking at, and uh, yep. we've got some gatherings coming up, some interest, interest meetings and, and, yep. and gathering nights. Yep. Yeah, tell us about those. So we've got an amazing team um, already, and we have more and more people moving into the city over the next couple of months to join team. Yeah, like um, to me. Yeah, it's coming. yeah, like to me, <laughs> like uh, yeah, there's a bunch of guys, which is super a huge honor for us to have people um, come and join us from outside of the city. Uh, so we are doing uh, groups, we're doing small groups, yep. uh, starting next week. Yeah, I think so. Next week, yeah, next Saturday, which is really cool. Uh, I love. So we're doing groups, and we're also doing interest gatherings. Mm-hmm. So interest gathering is really like people who want to just poke their head do a bit of window shopping, poke their head in the door and just see what what is this thing happening? What is this community? Yeah. Where, say hello. Say hello. Some pizza, coffee. Yep. No pressure. Free just food, come, meet people. Come meet, come meet us, yeah. 
um, love, he'd love to meet you. hang out and yeah. uh yeah just see if this is a if if this is a fit for like you know some things that god's put in your heart or things that's stirring in your life and some of the things that we're talking about we'll be giving away the book maybe definitely we'll yeah. be giving away the books, um yeah. the book uh which really does have a summary of you know some of the big things that we feel passionate about um as well as uh yeah just like a yeah i guess foundation for our church um which is really cool so that's interest gatherings the first one is on august the 28th august the 28th august 28th at um, 5 p.m at at 4 p.m 4 p.m 4 p.m which is actually right here yeah um in the house in in brisbane east um which is really cool so that's um the first opportunity we're going to have free food kids program um what well, yeah i mean we're gonna have stuff for kids um so parents can relax and chill while kids um are playing and just a chance to meet the team so it'll be a pretty chilled afternoon um but we'd love to invite you to come along yeah, on come august the 28th yeah that'd be amazing good. um and yeah also um people can give into this church plant mm. um maybe you know you you love where you are but you feel like you know we want to be generous and help a new church plant in Brisbane. And uh, like I have personally given to so many church plants, yeah. uh, not mine, but other people's church plants, just because I, I just love to see churches get flanded and, yeah. um, you know, get behind good things that are happening. So yeah. if you'd like to do that, um, it'd be great. You look on, the, on the website, details are at the bottom. Yep. 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 Check and, it out. Uh, yeah. Check it out. That'd be great. And church plant is still, is still a key to growing the church, like right. the church. The big church, and yeah. Yeah, so it's a great opportunity to invest in local church plants. Uh, we'd really encourage you to do that. It really is. And maybe you even, like, you know, you know Brisbane, you're like, the West End needs a church. Yeah. And maybe you're not going to come be part of it because you're, you know, ages away or whatever. That's awesome. Um, and please, you know, bless your local church. Mm-hmm. But maybe you're saying, like, that. I, I would love to help. Yeah. So um, definitely get in touch and we would love to just collaborate with people, mm. um, collaborate with other local churches. I already have working with other churches who have been super generous in Brisbane to help us start and yeah. um, that's you. We'd love to hear from you. So so good. Some great churches here, great people. It's a great city. It's an amazing city. An amazing if you're thinking city. about moving to Brisbane, yeah, it's awesome. So we always win the origin. <laughs> we do. It was so good. It was a great game. <laughs> I watched, uh, if you don't know what Origin is, it's it's rugby league. It's um, one of the biggest events in Australian it's sport. It's moved to Brisbane. It's basically, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely part of it. Um, it. It's good to be a Queenslander, let's yeah, just say that. It it's good, especially um, when we're watching Origin next to it, New South Wales friends. Oh. And, uh, and you just, you know. Just pray for them, hand you know, on the shoulder I while mean, you're watching. You, you just can't <laughs> teach heart. <laughs> it's just you either have it or in, in yeah. Queensland just has it. So yeah. um, that's the way it goes. So, hey, thanks so much for um, just checking in with us. Yeah. Um, and it's been a shorter one. Yeah. Um, but we're going to be doing more regular podcasts now. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, hopefully, Lockie, you come back. Yeah, I'll come back. This you're is, good. This is fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tim, we still love you. Yeah. You're amazing. Uh, can't wait to see you, Tim. Can't wait to see yeah, you. come around. Be together. Yeah, And um, so, Tim... I think those guys got their um, visas all approved. Yeah, all approved. And, uh, so they're coming Tim in Kazuer. September, I think. Yeah. Yep, so they'll be in Australia at that time. So i just uh, excited to welcome everyone into this amazing city. Yeah. And I uh, can't wait to plant an incredible local church together. So keep praying for us on this road to launch. We'd love to hear from you. If you want to get involved, we'd love to uh, get in touch. So God yeah. bless. Have an amazing week. Have an amazing time. And uh, we'll try again soon. See you guys soon. Yeah.